buying hoodies from the men's section is how I cope with not having a man. Aha. Uh ha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be talking about all my hoodies and it's all kept here. There's a lot. I have like over 20 hoodies. So, hoodie slash sweater sweatshirts kind of a um, hot. I'm already regretting filming this because it's literally so hot and you're probably like, Yona. You live in Mumbai. Like, who in their right mind lives in Mumbai and needs 20 plus hoodies and sweatshirts? To be honest with you, I was not always confident or whatever. But I used to be insecure about my body, so I should buy clothes to cover it. So that's why I have so many hoodies because I've been accumulating this, these all from the years I've been very insecure about myself. Anyways, that took a dark turn, but. Let's get started with this, but before that, uh, disclaimer that I'm not trying to brag because this is not at all my money, it is my parents' money, so I'm not bragging. There's nothing to brag about collecting clothes because I was insecure. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you all the clothes I want. I'm just gonna be randomly picking stuff. So, the first one is this really cute one. I think this is from Zara or HM. Um, but it's like a black really soft like it's so soft for um, something like thread thingy and yeah this is really cute uh, if you have like a formal party during the winter so I really like this I've never really worn it out I've taken pictures of it but I've never worn it up so yeah next one oh my gosh this is my favorite hoodie I think I own this is um, from H&M. Most of these are in an L, I think. Yeah, because I'm like, I am pretty healthy. Or I'm like mid-size, I'm not plus size, I'm not skinny. So I'm like a size 10, 12. And so I usually go an L. And unless I want something fitting, then I go with an S or an M. Uh, so yeah, this is really, it's like a velvet one and it's from H&M and it's my prized possession. I have these Adidas leggings that are velvet and I wear it all the time. It's like a very model of duty and I love it. I'm randomly picking up everything. So now I have uh, another Zara one. This one's one of like the first sweatshirts I own. I think this is where it all began. Um, and I've worn this so many times. It has all this like patchwork detail that I love. It's very quirky. It's so cute. Uh, I don't know why I've not worn this, but I wear most of these with leggings and I love it. Next one is also one of my most worn hoodies, sweatshirts. Um, this one's for 21 and if my friends are watching this, they've probably seen this like a bajillion times. Um, but this one is Mickey Mouse. It's grey, I love grey and I think I love that. This is from Forever 21. I love this so much. So yeah. This is an M and it's like cropped almost. So wearing it like joggers and sweatpants. It's like so cute. This one's also one of my other favorites. This is from HM and this one's the size L. So this is like really baggy. I think it should have been more cropped. It's like this awkward crop length, so maybe I might crop it. And the black isn't black enough. It's like that faded black, which really gets on my nerves. So I don't wear it as much as I would like to. But yeah, it's another cute one. I'm running through this because otherwise, if I keep on rambling, I will never reach the end of this video. Okay, here's another HM one. I think when HM just launched in Mumbai, India. I think it was already in Delhi, I believe, I'm not sure. But when H&M came here to India and I went to like the Palladium store, I think I bought this there. <clears throat> Why did my voice do that? But I think I bought this there. This is an off-white knockoff, it says all black and it's so embarrassing, I never wear it. My, if my mom, my parents usually watch my videos, so they'll think of how ungrateful I am. <laughs> but I'm sorry. This one's another one of my favorites. 
okay i have so many memories of this uh this is a um, this is like a sweater it says slay all day it's christmas but like you can wear it throughout the year because when you flip it the other way you get sleep all day so that's really cute i love this this is also from h&m and it's a size f and this is so baggy like a good sleep i could take a nap in this even though there are sequins that i could nap in it so here i have this my mom gave me i have no idea where it's from but it's like really it's like a cropped small sweater it's very quirky this i also believe is one of my earliest sweatshirts this is from forever 21 in the size s that nah, i used to be a small i used to be shorter too now i'm 5 6 so um yeah this is this I went with my best friend uh, to YTFF, the second YouTube fan fest that happened in 2016, I believe. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Many memories are attached to these, so I'm a holder, so I don't throw away my clothes. I'm so sorry. I give away my like t-shirts and stuff, uh, but uh, my hoodies, no. I'm a collector. I have this uh, beautiful pink. Sweatshirt from February one and it says later hater on it and it's baggy and it's in the size M. Yeah, I like what it says on it. Next one is a one my sister gave me. This is in the size I don't know. The label is off. So this is probably an S or an M. But I love this. It just says spend. So you gotta spend when you wear this. It's red. So but it's really it's one of my favorites so baggy it's like the perfect fit this is another H&M one uh, it's it's the size M and it's this beautiful olive green one and I've gotten a lot of use out of this but it's really comfortable and I really love it I have a sweater from H&M again it's in size M and this is like the perfect fall sweater it's like this beautiful mustard yellow and I really like it and this like you can dress it up with like cute jewelry and like just a minimal outfit but just when you wear jewelry with such beautiful sweaters like your outfit like just escalates it goes off the charts it's so cute then i have this one this my sister gave me this is another one from h and this is sparkly i've never worn this but i hope to get to wear this this year if it happens to get cold and i I'm invited to an uh, event, which is rare. I know, like, you would think I'm popular. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Anyways, sparkly, it's baggy, it's cute. Then I have this one, the tag still on. This is a size M, and this is a Bershka one. I, I want to sell this because i really have never worn it this doesn't fit right i'll do like a try on i don't know i'm not too sure i've never tried it since i got it my sister bought this for me from italy but i never ended up wearing it um the price tag is still on i really like it but it's like a beautiful red i wish i could get some use out of it i'll see maybe i'll keep it i don't know then i have this bright orange hoodie what was I thinking when I bought this? What was Peter Skiona thinking when she bought this? This is a size S, but it fits like a double XL. It's like so baggy and it's so long. It's like so long. It's like a kurta, kurta hoodie situation. Um, it has like these uh, calligraphy letters on the sleeves. I don't know what they say. Neither do I care. But I look like a hot cheeto in this. So I've never worn it more than twice, I think. I sound like such a brat. I've never worn it more than twice. This is one of my favorites. I never get to wear it because I'm too scared that I'll literally ruin it, but it's like a solid white hoodie. I don't really have a stain on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it on the camera. Okay, whatever. Too scared to even put it near my face. But this is a beautiful white, solid white hoodie. And if I wasn't such a klutz, I would wear it more often. But I drop lots of food on me and I get makeup on my clothes. So. Okay, this is from H&M and it's in the size M. 
And we have another H&M hoodie. The H&M sponsor me. Everything's from H&M. I just beat myself for that. Um, but I don't buy much stuff anymore from them. I think. I oh, know I shop online. This is the name. N names of places on it. Anyways, this has like the rose gold lettering on it and like the, the nib. It's like an aglet. That's what it's called. Like on the shoelaces, it's called aglet, but it reminds me of that. But yeah, this is like lighter than a baby pink. So it's cute and I like it. And we have another one that I've not worn much. This is also from Fire 21, but it's cropped. I don't really like these white things. I don't know, it makes me look like the Michelin man. You know, the tire fellow. This is Forever 21, size S. And it's like super fitting, but like the arms, just like these stripes, just don't. It's not flattering. I don't know, it makes me feel like the Michelin man, like I said. But it's super soft inside and comfy. So I try to wear it when I can. That's cute. This is a hoodie that my parents wore me. Then I won this one from AND and this is the size 14. It's so expensive, I've never worn this. So ungrateful. It's just it's not my type. I didn't buy this, my parents bought it for me. But it's like has a sheer lace detail on it. And long sleeves, hoodies, like hoodies are. So yeah. I think it's cute, but I don't know how do I, how would I style it. It's kind of giving me like it's it seems like with the lace it seems so extra. Like when I'm wearing a hoodie, I just want to be casual. One of my favorite hoodies. I love this hoodie so much. This is another H and M hoodie, but the catch is this is from the men's section, and my sister got it for like 700, 600 bucks when there was a sale going on, which is a steal because these are on like 2,000 I think or 1,500. So like half the price. So she bought it for me. I wanted it. It has the NASA logo on the back and the front is like small. So I wear this with like a red scrunchie. It's like the cutest. But yeah, I bought from the men's section to go with um, me being single and alone. And I don't get to steal anyone's hoodies. Oh, I'm kidding. But yeah, I just for my sense of wanting a man, I just buy men's hoodies because it'd be like that. So yeah, this is how I cope with being single if you were wondering. I need to buy more men's hoodies. Not self. Uh, then here I have one that my parents gave to me. I mean like it's one of their old hoodies. I don't know whether it's my mom's or my dad's. But this is Pepe jeans. It gives me very like vintage vibes. I mean it's old so it will give me vintage vibes. But yeah, I uh, it's cute but it's really high neck so it kind of bothers me but I tried to get used out of it. I bought it maybe once twice but it's cute. This is a Forever 21 sweatshirt and it has like this zips going around on the sides. Zips sexy. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't open the zips, don't worry. <laughs> um, this is a size S but it's like baggy so it fits like an M. But it's cute, I like it. This is like mesh in the center and the zips. It's really extra but it's comfortable. Now the last one we have is uh, another Forever 21 one um, size S. With, it's like an off-white with like this baby pink with the rose gold font that says don't know don't care which is always a mood so on that note this video is finally over so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe and hope that you enjoy this video and yeah yeah peace out bye I love you Why it's so hot? Why do I own so many hoodies? Is beyond me. Why am I like this? This was the last one. I'm so happy. I'm so tired. I'm never doing this again.
Nacional.